table views in iOS apps are similar to list views in Windows Store apps. In iOS apps, you can represent lists by using a table view. In Windows Store apps, you can use a list view. First, here's an iOS app that uses a simple table view. The table view consists of cells. This style is used to display a title, a subtitle, and an image. Next, here's a similar Windows Store app that shows a simple list view. This app uses a list view control, which is similar to the UI table view in iOS. Here's the user interface markup code for the list view. A custom class represents the data in each of the list view's rows. This custom class is defined in the c -sharp code. The list view is data bound to a collection of photo objects, so when the data changes, the list view updates automatically. The binding is declared in markup and bound in C-sharp. To define the layout of the rows, use a grid view. Here's the markup for the grid. This grid contains an image and a stack panel. Here's the markup for the image and the stack panel. The stack panel contains one text block for the title and another for the description. Here's the markup for the text block containing the title and the text block containing the description. To set the font styles for the title and description, the text blocks are set to a predefined style. These styles are included in every Windows Store app project by default. To find these style definitions, look in the project's standardstyles.xaml file. Here's the markup for the text blocks showing their style settings. For more information, including a tutorial that shows you how to build this app, see the documentation written especially with iOS developers in mind. Thanks for joining us for One Dev Minute.